Hello everybody, it's Walter Walter is back. I have a match in my Gilga Cannon. Uh, this was requested by Jeff Dunn. He wanted to see it in uh, black with uh, light purple. So this is what we got. Uh, so the Gilga Cannon uh, got some buffs, uh, I think a month and a half ago, or a month ago. And uh, the buffs are pretty good. They reduced the cooldown time on the cannon by uh, a significant amount, which is uh, pretty decent. It was like fucking uh, 18 seconds down to, uh, uh, I think, 13. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. But um, the changes are uh, nice. Very nice. Uh, I still wish I could take the standard Galgook beam rifle because that's the that's the way I ran it in GBO one was with the beam rifle. Uh, just tap with the the cannon and then tap with the the beam rifle for like half a general's health in one go, uh, and it was very interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah, like it's uh, pretty solid. Um, I saved this one because I don't know how I did as much damage as I did. I did like 99,000, 97,000. I feel like I only did like a couple, uh, like I, I feel like I only did like 43,000 because I sure as hell don't feel like I did like 90. But, um, yeah, the Gogo Can's, uh, one of my, it's, I think it's my favorite version of the Gogo, uh, Gogo next to Jake Besnode's, um, because, you know, Jacob, Jacob, uh, Jacob Bus has some really good taste when it comes to designing his suit. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of what he did to his, and it, I definitely do enjoy using that mobile suit quite a bit. Uh, they, they, what's weird, now that I'm thinking about it actually, is that they have an Uma Lightning... Master Grade P Bandai, but they didn't, they haven't made Jake Best Nodes. Um, I think that one would sell really good because it's sort of unique being, well, a Gelgo Cannon with a really, really cool looking paint system on it. Uh, being the, the uh, beige and white on the shoulder. And then, of course, you know, the uh, the uh, eyes from the, the Zaku Flipper. And then, you know, on top of it, even the... Uh, you know the the stolen Jim Ground type, uh, Jim Sniper rifle. Sorry, left. Um, I think that would be a very very. Uh, I think they would sell quite a bit of those uh, Galgoogs. I I know if I could get my hands on it, uh, I'd buy it. I'd buy that Galgoog in a heartbeat. Uh, it makes me sad for Master Grades, one of the least used frames for Master Grades is the Galgoog version two. They released uh, the Uma, the standard colored Gogug, and the uh, and Shars. If I'm not mistaken, a version two Gogug Cannon. Uh, though I think that's a conversion kit. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a little upset, and they haven't done dick with the 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 frame of the Gogug. Like, they never mass produce, uh, they never really made a whole lot of the Gelgoogs, and that really upsets me, uh, for the Master Grade, because it's a good looking design, and I would 10 out of 10 buy at least two or three Gelgoogs if they actually produce the damn things. Um, I just really like it. I have a bunch of leftover Xeon weaponry, uh, because of, uh, the, the Zakus I've had that have been destroyed because of, you know, Crystal's fucking cat and... Crystal herself, and uh, my boy Aki sent me a bunch of leftover weaponry that he had no use for, so I got a shit ton of weapons just chilling over here that I could use to uh, make some custom uh, Galgoogs, but uh, yeah, I wish, I definitely wish they would do something with the frame. Uh, it's such a waste that they, they made such a beautiful uh, kit in the form of that Galgoog and just don't do anything with it, you know. Definitely would purchase at least three of those damn things because Galgook's sexy. I would definitely purchase uh, a Jacobus Node Master Grade if we could, if we they ever made a P Bandai his Galgook because that'd be awesome. Um, 
but uh yeah we're uh down by 2k uh but that's fine uh i guess this is not the match where there was a zuda that i no because we uh that was a different match i don't remember what i was using I chased a, one match I was, I chased a fucking Zuda down because he was annoying the shit out of me and, uh, eventually beat his ass. <laughs> Get off my nuts, Gazar. But, um, yeah, um, just, you know, and then I, I understand that they haven't been making a whole lot of, you know, kits and that's mainly due to the fact that the, the plastic, sh uh, shortage, but that should be easing up by now from what I've heard. I've heard they started ramping up, uh uh manufacturing of kits uh and i've if i'm not mistaken i heard somewhere and i don't remember where i heard it and i need to ask aki about it but i heard they're making a plant uh in here in america for gumpla and then if they are that's pretty cool i'm gonna have to ask aki about that one though um my damn thumb is twitching it's been twitching like on and off for the past couple of days. I don't know what's causing that. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to need to ask Aki about that. Um, see if they really are making a plant in America to help uh, produce model kits. And if they are, that's that's down. I'm down for that because that's hopefully would make kits cheaper. Um, that's why uh, <clears throat> Warhammer 40K is so fucking expensive because... They have two plant, uh, two things, two companies that make that stuff, and that's Forge World and Game Workshops themselves. They don't let anyone else touch those, um, for the tabletop anyway. I'm not talking about like the kits uh, that they're starting to produce, like the the, the five inch figure ones. Um, <clears throat> I I got splash damage, bud. I I will hit you. So that it's interesting that they're doing it that way, but uh. Um, I would like, I would like to see, uh, Games Workshop get the thumb up their ass, pulled out, uh, let the fans make, you know, animations and shit, because they're still on that fucking train for whatever reason, and, uh, you know, bring down their fucking cost, because a five-man squad of, of tactical space marines shouldn't cost 35 fucking dollars. Uh, let's not even talk about a Dreadnought who's 50-something dollars and a... Oh, my favorite one, a Warlord Class Titan, costing $6,000. Why? Uh, so, they need to bring down their, their, their really should be like, something uh, to do about the cost of those, uh, those kits, because that's just kind of gross. But, um, hmm. Yeah, it's, there needs to be some changes with that. But, uh, yeah, Jeff, I hope you enjoyed your match. Sorry it took me a little bit. Tomorrow should be Oni Savages. I think I got a match for him saved. I think I did, but I, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, I think I did relatively well, considering that I really don't remember doing 96,000 damage. I don't feel like I did. Um... And I was telling, I was telling that to Left Nut about that. I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like I did that good. But here we are. But let's take a look at the patrons. We have Brandon Markey, Shipper, Azrael, Dragon Spartan, Nani Gundogus, Jeff Don, Clav, Maverick, Momoka, Peter Strike, Oni Savage, Adam, Pseudosols, Elimo, Still Talon, Minty Robo, Mysteries, Mercenary, Talimans, Phantom OC, Viscarian, Zinnick Ghost, Kig, Bryson, Claudio, Christopher, Crusader, Serena, Lioko, Coco, Zinnick Shadow. NJ Bean, Streeter, Rand Hero Destroyer, Sean, Living Deadward, David, RGM, and Sopla Aki. I want to thank you guys for uh, su uh, supporting me. Uh, and I hope you guys have a good Monday. Y'all be careful.